When I was just a teen, Grandpa would sit down next to me Tell me about the time Big Whiskers got away From the Broad Ripple Spillway to the Waverly Bridge It's been tall tales, rumors, urban legends and myths About a world record flathead that some say has never been caught Sometimes he was spotted in White River with flood As big as a coffin laying up in the mud His name is Big Whiskers and he's the toughest cat that ever fought As the story goes, the grandpa was a kid He was checking a trial line by the Southport Bridge He thought it was snacks so he leaned down to take a look the water started to boil, bubble and churn As the flathead monster came to the surface and turned Headed straight to deep water and got away by straightening the hook When the word got round by the cat he'd seen Everybody laughed and refused to believe And they echoed him every time that he walked by He swore right then to everybody's face He'd clear his name and put him in their place He vowed never to shave until proven he wasn't alive he fished every day as the years rolled past and became more obsessed with every cast. He'd head straight to the river when Grandma would let him outdoors. After a while, the beard covered his face, and ten years later, it was down to his waist. By the time he retired, it was almost reaching the floor. When he walked into town, people's jaws would drop, and some loudmouth kid would holler ZZ Top. But he didn't pay attention, he just kept on walking by. He'd head straight to the river and throw in some bait And wade through the water and patiently wait For the day Big Whiskers would swallow at the end of his line When I was just a teen, Grandpa would sit down next to me Tell me about the time Big Whiskers got away He had a secret recipe no cat could resist He never wrote it down or even made a list It was trial and error and he never trusted anyone he put livers and gizzards and shat in trails and some Limburger cheese just to pep up the smell and coagulated blood stirred in with a black cat bone. He filled mason jars so they wouldn't leak and set them out in the sun for at least a week. They had to ferment so he couldn't take them in too soon. Then he took them to an Indian burial ground, dug as deep as he could so they wouldn't be found and said the Lord's Prayer and dug them up by the light of the moon. Some people treat fishing as a chance to get drunk, but to him it was religion and he never gave up. And the stories about Big Whiskers just seemed to grow. They say he sank three boats and one man drowned. He ate ten pound bass and gobbled ducks down. Grandpa became the butt of every joke. On a cloudy day like many before, he was wading through the shallows up along the shore. North of Raymond Street by a railroad overpass. He fished half the day without a bite Decided to head home and call it a night But before giving up he threw in one more cast When he felt something pulling on the end of his line He set the hook and he let out a sigh Convinced himself he was snagged on a rock or a stone Then he pushed in the button on his Zepco reel And started walking backwards to the top of the hill He saw his line moving sideways and he knew that he wasn't hung up you could hear his drag singing from a mile away And the fiberglass rod was about to break As the fish started bowing and a stretching the monofilament line He was running downstream and his line went slack And the cat swam toward him up in the rip rap. That's when he got a glimpse of Big Whiskers with his own two eyes He could feel his heart begin to raise It went deeper in the water and he tried to chase His enormous flathead catfish up towards the sand well, it must have confused the ancient cat Cause then he ran aground in the weeds And he sat up out of the water All helpless on dry land Well, he strained and pulled with all of his might And then drug that old cat up the riverside Sat down in the gravel and the sand To try to catch his breath When he leaned towards his head to get a better look His beard got tangled in the rusted hooks That the battered old flathead had buried In his lips and his head Grandpa Winston felt the pain of too many years pursuing in vain A silly old fish that would rather be left alone Well I guess it was then that Grandpa snapped and started feeling guilty And he foolishly laughed and he reached in his box for his best pair of needle nose They pulled every hook out of Big Whiskers face and drug him back in the river and watched him swim away Pulled out the scissors and started cutting the hair off his chin 
Never said a word about what went down, but everybody knew as he walked into town that there's only one thing that could make him shave his beard. For the first time in years he was truly alive and he gave up fishing and after he died we scattered his ashes on the banks of the wide river. Some folks claim at the bottom of the dam is a world record cat and a mean old man resting in peace for the first time in too many years. When I was just a teen, Grandpa sat down next to me Tell me about the time Big Whiskers got away Tell me about the time Big Whiskers got away <laughs>